snow is really pretty. No, it doesn't really have a snow, but it sure is pretty, isn't it? It's called a ranunculus. It's an annual from Petiti Garden Center. They like the cool weather, like the, the pansies and the violas. That's my cat, Blue, who got outside. He's not supposed to be outside, but he won't be out here very long because it's a little too chilly for him this evening. Hey, Blue, can you say hi? That's my crazy cat from the Cleveland APL. Anyways, we're continuing the theme of going green with our crafts of the month. Uh, this month, I took an old pair of rubber boots that I have walked Duffy in for, I don't know, probably the past five, six, seven years. I uh, walked through the woods back here, walked through uh, the, the wet yard, but they were starting to go, so it was time to throw them out. But I didn't want to throw them out. I wanted to recycle them. So I thought of this great idea to make planters out of my rubber boots. So, and I kind of spiced it up, kind of flunked it up a little bit. So we're going to take these two flowers, the primrose and the ranunculus, and put them in our boot planters, our April craft of the month from Pacatans. And all you're going to need is some gravel to put on the bottom of these boots, an old pair of boots, any kind will do. Uh, you're going to need some acrylic paint, every color of the rainbow. And these are so cheap. I mean, I think they're less than a buck, uh, if that. Purple, pink, yellow, green. You're going to need some clear coat to spray over the top of them because outside the acrylic, of course, will wash off. So you need to uh, uh, seal it. You need to seal your paint on the outside. So this is triple thick crystal clear glaze from Pacatans. So it'll be nice and thick and nice and shiny too. Uh, I need some floral foam and I just got one brick and I broke it in half. We're going to stick that in the bottom too. And I told you we had to put uh, gravel on the bottom to give it kind of a little bit of weight. I got these two uh, fake coleus, but boy, don't they look real. They have come a long way with their artificial flowers, and they have the most beautiful ones at Pacatans, too, very reasonably priced. So I got these two fake coleus I'm going to put in there, too, to give us height. So um, first thing we want to do is put the gravel in the bottom. It, oh, first you drill a hole in the bottom for drainage, and my husband did that for me. And then we put the gravel in the bottom, and then we just, before we put the floral foam in, we just take our paint, open it up. You don't even need a paintbrush, because that's the fun of it. You just pick up your boot and just go kind of like this. Kind of like when we did the abstract art with the, uh, the radio girls. We did it out in the backyard last summer. Similar to that, but it looks kind of so you're just going to go like that and just kind of brush it, you know, with all the different colors of the rainbow. So it looks like, ends up looking like this. You're going to let it dry, and you'll probably need to let it dry overnight, maybe uh, a couple of nights, because it's thick paint that's on there. And then you're going to spray it with your clear coat and uh, seal the paint on it, and then you're all ready to go, okay? Uh, then you're going to take your floral foam, put it down into your boot, this is the hard part. You take your fake coleus and you stick it in your boot and you take your plant and <laughs> you don't even take it out of the, the container. And you stick your plant in there. Okay. Turn it around. Move this down a little bit more. What do you think, though? You just like to be by this mom. Take the other fake one. I can't see because the coleus is in my way. Beautiful night today. Yay, springtime! Take your other plant, your primrose. That's a purple primrose. And look at isn't that cool? Boot scooting boot planters. Now these aren't quite dry yet, but I'll put them over here. The cutest little gar garden accent. Hmm? Boot planters. Recycle your old boots and make planters out of them. Got a great idea for me? Email me, nancy at wdok.com. Happy springtime. Hey,